come on in. <laughs> ben, where do we even begin, begin with that? A 3-2 win against Notts County. Your thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, that's, that's about as good as it gets. It is. That's about as good as it gets. The, um, first of all, the, the performance was phenomenal. What a game. Like, I'm playing in the game and I'm buzzing off it and I'm thinking, this is a massive game. This is, this is the two best teams in the National League by far. It's on BT. Everybody's watching. Um, and normally these games, well, not normally, but sometimes these games, they don't live up to the billing. They can be a bit drab, like teams get a bit nervous. Um, but that is, was honestly as good as it gets. I can't remember playing in many better football matches myself personally. Um, and just the drama attached to all of it. You know, we won it down at half time. Really good free kick. You know, we go 2 1 up in the second half. And I'm just thinking, 20 minutes left, lads. Come on, we can do this. Just hold on. Um, and then, you know, we concede. It's such a poor goal to concede as well. We're not picking up at the back post. And then get the free two. And then penalty last second. It's just, ah, oh, it's wicked. It's so good, honestly. But it shows that never say die attitude of the squad too. And go, even when, when it's 2-2, then pick ourselves up and then go and score and take the lead again minutes later. Yeah, well, you know, we, we, last week, sorry, last Friday against Halifax, you know, we're 1-0 up at half time. We've got 4,500 fans come to watch us and we're, we, we want to put on a show. And we keep saying in the change with lads, there's 4,500 fans out there that made the travel on a Friday. Um, and then we come out second half and we were brutal, absolutely rubbish. That's not what we're about. So we knew we needed to put a performance on today. So half time, 1-0 down, and it was... A similar sort of conversation to what we said last week was, lads, we were actually 1-0 up last week here at half-time and we came out and they battered us 3-1. So we can do the same to these today. Um, and we did. That's exactly what we did. We came out, we got the early goal um, and it was just to and fro football. You know, it's, it was intriguing because they play a real different style of football to us, you know, but it, it just goes to show that there's so many ways to skin a cat and... Um, it was, a, it was a really good watch. I, like I say, I hope the neutral at home enjoyed it as much as what we did. Was it almost the perfect way to respond from Friday, going into one of the biggest occasions, but what was billed as the biggest game in non-league history, to yep. go into the game and then put on a performance like that? Yeah, the, that's what it was about. It, I'd say, first and foremost, it's about the, getting the three points. You know, The three points are massive today. For us, probably not losing was a big thing for us today. Um, and I'm sure there's probably a lot of Wrexham fans that even when the penalty got given, gone, well, at least we didn't lose, yeah. But to go and get the three points as well is just, oh, it's so special. It really, really is. Um, and now we've got two, two days off now, um, but then we're back on it on Saturday. And there's four more games left between now and the end of the season. And we can't take any of them for granted either because we saw what Halifax did to us last, you know, last Friday. So every game has to be cliche as you like, but cup final for us. And the other end of the pitch to you, Paul Mullin, a goal and two assists. He just ridiculous that in yeah. up those positions isn't he he's uh oh, he's like a non-league jamie vardy has he been called that before has he been called that before <laughs> he should be called that uh yeah he's like a non-league jamie vardy he's just never stops running he's got a jaw of cell batteries inside him he's 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 just gets on with his job as well you know sometimes the strikers you know they're a bit strikers are a bit big time a bit ego aren't they but he's the opposite to that honestly there's so many times where players might try and play a ball into his feet and he's already tried to spin and go long but he won't fling his arms. He just sort of gets on with it. He's like, yeah, no worries. And that's, we've got so many players like that in our team. And I reckon when, when you're filled with goodness like that, you've always got a chance. Now, go back to the 95th minute. They've just been awarded a penalty. People weren't too sure at the time what it was for. What goes through your head in that position and then to then make that save as well? Yeah, it's, um, as a goalie, you can't really lose, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of pressure on the striker, you know, on the, on the person taking the penalty. There's a huge amount of pressure. And I think... To be perfectly honest, we probably just gave away where he was going to put it a little bit because his, his, he sort of put the ball down at a certain angle. He, his run-up was a little bit closed off. Um, so there's only really where two places he can put it is down the middle or my side that I'm going. Um, to open his hips up and put it that side, it would take a bit. You know, In the 95th minute, you're not doing that. It's too much pressure attached to it. So I thought, no, boom, I'm going to my right-hand side. All the, all the data that we had said that they would probably go to my left, he would probably go to my left-hand side. But I thought, no, nah, I've got to go with my intuition. Thankfully, got the, got the hand on it, and my top hand came over and pushed it away as well. And that, um, that, that adrenaline buzz there, that moment, oh, it gives you goosebumps now. It's just, phew, I was going to swear them, young kid here. It is, <laughs> that is as good as it will get, little man, honestly. That's as good as it will get, that. Um, I've never celebrated a save before. I hate celebrating saves, and I've called out goalies for celebrating saves because it's just a bit of a douchebag thing to do. Um, I couldn't help myself. Like it was so, it was so nice. Like you see what it meant to the lads as well, <clears throat> just running up to me, and um, and I know how much it meant to the Wrexham fans, and um, that, yeah, that feeling of that penalty getting saved. I'm sure for the Wrexham fans was a special moment today.
You mentioned the Wrexham fans there. When you first joined the club, you received a lot of love. I think after today, it, that all like trebled and, and gone like tenfold. Yeah, it's fantastic. It <coughs> I'm sorry, I've just drank a protein shake and it's all in my throat. Um, yeah, they, they, they do. They've been fantastic with me. They've welcomed me back so so well. Um, so I, you know, I, I wanted, I, I didn't want to come and it be like a bit of a circus. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want it to come and be, oh, like you know, he's playing in the Premier League last year and he does his YouTube and it's all about getting content and and it's not about that. I promise you, it's about playing good football. I'm, I'm that competitive as a person that I, first of all, I want to win and I want to do it properly and I'll never, I'll never let anybody down. I don't like letting people down. So, you know, when the manager Phil says, you know, do you want it? Do you really want it? Do you want to come back and do it? And I know what he meant when he said that and I did, I wanted to do it. So when I give that promise to Phil, I have to go and then show the younger lads because I'm obviously going to be older than everybody else. I have to show them that I do it properly. Then they hopefully will fall in line and just do it as well. Thanks, Ben. Congratulations. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you very much.